What you will be learning about in today's video is file size, OCR, WebP, JPEG 2000, different formats, titles, alt text, image SEO, and how you can optimize your images for more traffic and overall better search engine optimization performance. My name is Chris Palmer, and I do not want to waste any time. Let's get directly into the image SEO tips. So the very first thing is going to be, yes, Google's reading your images. So they're reading your images on a magnitude of different levels. I have shown Google Vision in the past, but it's even simpler than that. If you go over to the convert PDF and photos to text right up from Google, they're going to break things down for you. Not because we want to convert things, but we want to understand how Google is understanding our images. So if you're not already familiar with what OCR is, all right? This is a type of technology called optical character recognition. Now there's free tools, there's cheap tools that literally you take an image, you put it in and it will extract whatever words are on top of the images. Now if a free tool can do this, Google can do this. All right, now I think that they're a little bit more advanced than this, but what I'm getting at is by putting keywords, by putting your brand, by putting words that matter to you, to the image, to your overall business on top of the image, Google is going to take these into account. Now, like I was talking about just before, when you take a look here at preparing the image, I just want you to divert your attention. Take a look here at the bottom here, and this is what it's going to tell you try to refrain from bold italics a small font size font type line breaks that are most likely to be retained list tables columns footnotes and notes all right so as long as you have the text that's a little bit bigger as long as it's web safe text all right so this is our web safe fonts these are your normal like Arial. these types of fonts that are easy to read make sure they're a little bit big make sure that they're white make sure that that they're not hidden make sure they're not in a list so when you're creating your images say you're creating an image and you have a image that's a picture of you like this say you're a plumber you're a doctor you're a lawyer put your phone number put your name put your brand name put your keyword on there and it will perform slightly better as long as you follow the rest of the tips in today's video so the very first tip is going to be OCR words on images help the next piece is about titling and alt text okay now titling and alt text is very important but let me give you a seo tip or a hack or a secret that will certainly help increase the traffic of your website you know a lot of people don't optimize for images but if you could get an extra 10 or 20 people onto your site an extra over the course of a week so an extra 100 people per week per page how much traffic will that increase by on top of that just having more traffic on the site could lead to more conversions so by not optimizing you're doing yourself a disservice let me go ahead and give you a tip or a hack or a technique that will allow you to optimize your images a lot faster and easier what you will simply do let's say whatever niche you're in what niche are you in let's say that you are in real estate so let's just do real estate uh arizona okay i know it's a relatively hot market take a look over here we're going to go to images and by understanding what google is ranking for our primary keyword we can then understand what we want to title our images all right so what is it that they're looking at but more importantly what are they writing inside of these particular titles so as you can see here, I type in real estate Arizona, but the number one ranking image is buyers should consider. So I want you to take this into account when thinking about titling your images, when thinking about alt texting your images. What is alt text you ask? So alt text definition. Okay, so what is alt text? If you're using WordPress, adding alt text is very simple to do. But what is alternate text? Alt text is a word or a phrase that can be inserted as an attribute in an HTML inside of hypertext. So you have your title and then your alt attribute. So when you're titling your particular image, 
I would take into consideration the primary keyword, real estate Arizona. But when we're utilizing our alt text, might I suggest taking a note out of the top ranker for your primary keyword and utilize these types of terminologies within the alt text. So that takes care of titling, alt text. Now let's talk about optimization. Speed is becoming more and more and more and more and more important over the years. People want fast, people want quick. So let's talk about optimization levels. Now, a normal image, all right? So your, your primary formats are going to be JP, uh, JPJ. So that's a JP, uh, JPEG, so JPEGs. So a JPEG image, a JPEG image is a, is a type of format. It's relatively large, but smaller than a, than a PNG. Now, PNGs are historically better quality images. JPEGs are slightly less quality, but more compressed. Now, if you want to keep your website fast, if you want to get a slight enhancement over your competitors, there's a magnitude of tools out there that will allow you to compress your images very small. Now, if you're using WordPress, there is tools like Imagely and all these other types of image optimization tools that come with your SEO optimization tools. But if you're not using those types of plugins, let me go ahead and lead you to next gen image formats. Now there's two that I like to use. Let me go ahead and share those with you. And there, yes, there's free converters online. You can take your images, put them into the converter converters before you upload them to your WordPress site, your HTML site, to your Joomla site, whatever site you're using you can go ahead and take care of this first. Let me go ahead and share these with you. So the first one is JPJ2000. So you can actually do this. You can put in your uh, JPEG2, JPEG2000 converter, okay? So you can literally take JPEG to JPEG2000 converter online. Here's one right here, mygeodata.cloud. I'm not affiliated, I'm just saying you could do this. So you would take a thousand kilobyte particular photo or image, put it inside of the converter and it would literally bring it down to 20 or 30 kilobytes. Now, on top of that, a lot of these tools, what they're utilizing is another one. So that's JPEG 2000, but a lot of these tools, what they utilize is something that is called WebP. So WebP image format, okay? So how about this? So let's say it's gonna be PNG to WebP converter free online that's all you have to type in that's all you need to do how to convert a png to webp all right so convert images to webp this is again going to take an image that's very large it's it's lossless you're not going to lose quality you're going to it's going to compress the image make it smaller make it faster make it better so let's recap all right from the very beginning till the very end all right, we're going to do a quick recap. This way we can utilize all of these tips all together. So number one is image on, or I'm sorry, it's going to be text on image. All right, use keywords or brand on images. And why is that? Because of something called OCR, that's optical something recognition, all right? I forget off the top of my head, but it's called OCR. And Google also gives you clear, clear and precise instructions on what to do. Are they reading it? Definitely, they're reading the words on top of the images. So much so that they actually have a tool that already does it where you can just do it easily online. And they're giving us the breakdown here on support.google drive answer. They're giving you the answer here. You can take a look at that for yourself. Number two. All right, let's move on to the next tip. The next tip, okay, is going to be this. So number two is titles, okay? Number three was alt text, all right? So for titles and alt text, let's make this as easy as possible. We're using a primary keyword, real estate Arizona, okay? This is the primary, you can either do vice versa. The primary keyword is real estate Arizona. We're using this as an example. So when I put this in as my primary, I can see down here what is currently ranking for these particular keywords. This is going to give us ideas of what we should be titling and or utilizing inside of our alt text. If these are what currently Google is rewarding, just like websites, who's winning for our keywords? We wanna optimize to what's actually working. 
all right same with images if we want to get a boost if we want to get just a slight edge why don't we already utilize the titles and the alt texts of what is currently working now again let's say that we're using this one you would go over to the site even if you wanted to take it a step further and say hey what are these guys doing you could take this a step further this is a tool set called seo meta in one click if you really want to get crazy we could see here that okay they titled it this or they titled it that i'm not saying pick which one makes sense to you but utilize some from the top performers once you have the title then we need to figure out well what did they use for alt text because they're ranking so high again this could lead to more traffic and more conversions even if it's just 10 extra people a week times how many images times how many pages you have you get where i'm going with this so but here seo med in one click what this will do is if you take a look at all of these tools we go to the alt text and then you can come in here Fabulous Arizona is the alt text that they used. Fabulous is probably sentiment for like good, for neat, cool, best, top. Fabulous for real estate is probably a sentiment word related. All right. So this is alt text. All right. So alt text, we want to see just like titles, what's currently working, where can we get the edge? So we talked about titles. We talked about alt text. We talked about text on images and for optimization all right so yes if you're using wordpress or some other type of cms there are tools that automatically do that but if you're not please take your pngs take your jpegs all right and let's compress them using one of these two formats these are next gen formats they compress it so small so what you're looking for is jpeg 2000 okay or webp so all you need to type into Google in order to do this beforehand, have your VA do it, have a Fiverr guy do it, have anybody you want do it. You can do this in five minutes. You take a lot of the, there's even batch editors. So all you have to type in is simply this PNG to web P converter online free. All right. That's all you got to do or, or, or PNG to JPEG 2000 or JPEG to JPEG 2000. There's even another one called JPEG XR. There's a magnitude of things that you can do. So as we ran through this, we have text on the images, use the keywords and or brand names to get more association and get even more of a boost. Why? Google's reading it Two titles, optimize your titles based on what's currently working. Why? Because Google's rewarding this. If we want to get rewarded, why not do what's already working? Same with the alt text. What is your leading competitor doing? Follow the lead. Next, for optimization, let's talk about next gen formats like JPEG 2000, like WebP. Let's get it super hyper optimized. And I'm going to give you a bonus here for you local guys and gals out there. GeoSetter is a tool that we can utilize EXIF data and other geolocation data within our images. Now, it has been long known that Google is stripping this out, but if they're taking and adding the resource to strip it out, what are they doing with it? So there are things out there to do this quickly and easily. If you have time, if there's a hundred things to do, this is number 95 on the list. It's not at the very bottom, but it's certainly nowhere near the top. But if you've done everything else and you have time and you have the budget and you're just messing around, there's a tool called Geo Setter. Okay. Free tool. Now, what this will allow you to do is add geolocation, exif, slash, all types of other data to your images. Okay. It's called Geo Setter. You can get a download. I have it on my computer. I utilize it. You can do images in bulk. And my name's Chris Palmer. If you have any future questions related to image SEO, how to optimize your images for SEO or anything SEO, image SEO, local SEO, digital marketing, YouTube ads, Facebook ads, really anything. Feel free, go ahead, ask in the comments below, and I always look forward to seeing you in the next Image SEO, how to optimize your images for SEO video. Have a wonderful day.